Hi, my name's Jay Wood from pfr.com.au in Victoria Park. I'd like to welcome you to number 96 Rutland Ave in Laugh Lane. To tell you about this special and unique development, I'll hand you across to the owners, Ogeny and Alana. So I guess where we're standing now is the end result of a three year journey where we've put a lot of our passion and hard work and energy into um, what's now the green swing on 96 Rutland Avenue. So we had a vision that townhouse developments should be able to be done very differently and a lot more sustainably with, most importantly, a community feel. It's also in the buildings because we've really uh, made sure that they perform very well from an energy perspective so they don't need any heating or cooling. And we've also made these buildings affordable for people to be able to come on board and live the community life that we've made here. It's between eight and very high 10 uh, star rating that we've achieved for this development. We've been contacted by um, the Your Home publication and have been asked to be the WA case study. So I guess that's just showcasing that um, what we've done here is very unique and there's a lot of interest and people just want to learn. Well first of all we love the fact that it's right next to the train station. It's very easy to access public transport from here. We like the fact that it is on a major bicycle commute route so we can all ride our bikes to school and to work. Living in a townhouse development, to have space to grow your own vegetables, I think is fantastic. And let's not forget um, the project that we're doing next door to where we live, which is a stormwater drain, which we're turning into a community garden. So um, I think it's uh, all in all just an absolute fantastic property to, to live in. Welcome to Eco Home Open, I'm Sid Too. In this web episode, we'll be meeting Ogeny, Mark and Alana, three of the brains behind the Green Swing, an ambitious eco home project located in the inner city suburb of Lathlane. It's no ordinary housing development. Two of the four dwellings are being constructed from straw bale. The project also features shared grey and rainwater harvesting and a community garden designed by Josh Byrne from Gardening Australia. It's been two years of intensive design and planning and construction has recently commenced on site. And I'm curious to see how the project is progressing and if the high ambitions of the Green Swing team are being fulfilled. Good morning, Mark, Alana, Ogeny. Here we are, busy under construction. Yes, we are. Finally, yes. after two years of preparations. <laughs> Where did the idea for the Green Swing come from, Ogeny? Helen and I wanted to move closer to the city and at the moment, um, in our opinion, there's two options. You either buy a house on a big block, which costs a lot of money, or you end up in a townhouse development, which is characterised by driveways, a lot of concrete and not a lot of green space. Um, we couldn't really see ourselves living in either one of those and that's where the idea of the green swing came from, to build a townhouse development with a lot of green space around it, close to public transport, something with creat creativity, community feel, place where we could build a straw bale house and yeah basically living our dream. Great well let's have a wander through the site shall we? Okay. And now I know this is the garage <laughs> yes, right. and there's a balcony above yes. and there was a bicycle store as well you were saying. Well the first thing I'd like to point out is all the car parking stops right here so from this point on this is a pedestrian friendly area so the next thing that we we're aiming for is to, to have a common area in the middle. And there's going to be a community garden. Well, that's a separate area off, off to the side where we're hoping to revegetate the, the sump that's adjacent. Right. But the area that we're standing in right here is a common property. So from here, all three dwellings are visible, or all the entryways to the dwellings are visible as well. And everybody's going to arrive on the property on foot. It's not a, a more traditional townhouse development where people don't see each other. We hope to have a lot of interaction between the people who are living on this. And a strong sense of community. Absolutely. Now it's pretty difficult with one couple on a project making and agreeing to decisions. What's it like having two? I think it's actually a real positive of working with two couples as well because you feed off each other's ideas and I think in the end we've ended up with better end results compared to when you do something like this alone. This is your townhouse here. 
Alginic. Yes, this will be uh, the townhouse using straw bale construction. And what are they setting up here? Uh, this is what you call the bottom boxing. So one of the disadvantages of straw bale, or at least one of the risks, is, is moisture. Right. Um, too much moisture will make the bales rot. So we really need to make sure that we keep them off the ground. And that's why they're building this, what they call bottom boxing at the moment. So the straw bales will be sitting on this boxing. If we ever had any water, like from a dishwasher or something like that, the walls wouldn't, wouldn't be touched by that water. And from here, we're gonna build up two, two stories um, with straw bale. Straw bale is a, a non-traditional building material, but for us, it ticked all the boxes. Amongst the advantages is excellent insulating properties. Uh, it's a local product, it's a waste product, it's biodegradable. With the render on it, it's providing the thermal mass that we need. It creates that full sense of security with the big sort of castle walls. You can get really interesting spaces with window seats. You built a straw bale wall house before? Uh, not a house, but we have done a straw bale building course. Um, we flew over for a week to Victoria where we had a, did a course which not only focused on the straw bale uh, part of the construction, but basically how to build a whole house. And uh, so we have been stacking a couple of straw bales. Uh, we have had some hands-on experience with the technique. Uh, no doubt we'll be learning a lot too when it comes to building this particular house, but that's the part that we really look forward to as well. And do you know how it's gonna cost, or compare in cost to more conventional construction, say a cavity brick house? I think it's pretty competitive, right. really. Um, and I've got to say too that we, our choice for straw bale was not um, to build the cheapest possible house. We want a house with a high quality finish and um, that does mean that you do pay a little bit more. So I, don't, I definitely don't think that you should compare this house with the lower end of the market and if it's sort of in the middle end then I think it's very competitive. Great. Well I'm excited to see what it's going to look like.